All right, fellow uh, penny stock holders, I know we're all eight holders as well. Uh, just want to do some quick TA on Zella, which is a pretty fast upcoming uh, another short squeeze potential. Just want to do some quick TA on it, which I found pretty interesting. So I heard about Zella from Twitter, and uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting play. There's evidence that retail owns a lot of the float on this as well. And um, so I was starting to look at some TA of it, and I jumped into it, not financial advice, but I jumped it yesterday morning when it jumped up to like $4. So I saw it at $3, but I also saw this kind of rising wedge formation, which I published on TradingView. But I kind of felt like it would come back down here, but it didn't. It jumped up. So let's go and look at the TA when I load it. Boom, it hits it. And of course, these are Fibonacci lines. Oh, trading view is being ridiculous. But anyway, I'll show you later. But this is our, these are Fibonacci lines. So it looks like the base of this triangle jumped up to here, and then it kind of went back down. But yeah, it broke this this rising wedge formation. It jumped up, you know, in the morning morning hour, the power hour of the morning. Um, which I think is pretty interesting, pretty exciting for for Zella stock to be doing this. Let's look at another chart. Here's another chart that I did. Looking at Zella, I see the rising wedge formation that popped up, which which kind of surprised me to be honest. I'm not perfect at this, but I think see you see the the dashed lines. It jumped up at least to the base, and probably hit a Fibonacci line. Maybe. We're, Basically, a little bit through it, came back down, kind of around this Fibonacci line, came back up, went back down uh, in between these Fib lines. So, what I'm seeing now is sort of a bearer flag, or no, bull flag formation. Get my flags mixed up. Um, you know, damn bears. But anyway, so the bull flag, so I think it's kind of bouncing up and down here. And I think there's some bullish sentiment, and it's gonna go back up. Not financial advice, just my own opinion. We can see here, you know, we can see the bull flag pattern over here, rising up, kind of bouncing around and going back up. Um, so that's, you know, that's what it looks like to me. You know, I could be wrong about this. Let's go ahead and add in stochastic. Let's look at our MACD and uh, RSI. So RSI is getting down to the oversold levels. So CAS, it looks like it could reverse. I need to change the setting. It always does this. There we go. But anyway, I think the stochastic is getting back down to where it could, it could pivot again. MACD is, was bearish, getting close to the uh, midline. It may go back up a little bit, may come back down. Um, but you can see why the MACD line, like when it really diverged, the maximum divergence on the histogram. That's a nice bulge there at the top. Stochastic was, yeah, time for reversal. RSI overbought. I'm down here to oversold. So here, see the interesting thing is that RSI never got above 50. So it's kind of in bearish territory as it went down. I moved my fibs. And um, I can lock this. But anyway, so uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. I think it's stuck in this bull flag. I think at some point it'll break up. And if it were to to break, it might go up to Fibonacci levels. So yeah, so, it's, so if it bounces, it may come back down and test this area. 3.82, the point 3.82, but it'll bounce. I think the last, so this bounced up from the point 2.36 all the way up to point 0.618. That's, uh, that's kind of close to Depends where you think the breakout is, though. Breakout right here, let's say 0.382. So two levels of fib line seems like to me. 0.382. Maybe we'll go back at 0.618 or go above for the next breakout. So it's kind of. We'll keep an eye on this and see how it works. And talk to you guys later. Bye.